Well, it's constantly getting harder to find affordable housing as well here in Tampa Bay. Rent prices here are skyrocketing faster than most places in the country. And in Pinellas County, the biggest issue stopping developers from building more affordable housing units is a lack of land. In this Price of Paradise report tonight, Sarah Hollaback shows you one potential solution that's now in the works. We are in a desperate situation right now. Aaron Dietrich can't believe how difficult and downright scary it can be looking for housing in Tampa Bay. It's taking people out of their homes, out of their communities. It is, it is ending people's lives and communities as they've known it. On average, rent has shot up a whopping 25% in Tampa Bay in a single year. And with land so hard to come by, county leaders are now turning to something they haven't before, surplus land. That's land that was purchased for projects that didn't end up being used or land the county receives when an owner doesn't pay property taxes. It can make a huge difference because we have so many people that have been asking, but the issue has been land. Some of the properties are irregular or too small to build on, but Pinellas County has found at least 19 pieces of land, including this one at the intersection of McMullen Booth and Sunset Point, that can be sold to developers with the hope of creating more affordable housing for the hundreds now on the verge of losing their homes. It's our teachers, it's our students returning from college, it's our doctors, some of them, it's our lawyers. The Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council is working with counties and cities across Tampa Bay to look into their surplus land as well. We're really taking some uh, forward bold moves to look at how to really use land. Dietrich says solutions of any kind can't come soon enough. This is an emergency. This is not a affordable affordability problem. This is a housing crisis. Pinellas County plans to start marketing the first wave of surplus land immediately to developers. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.